Today in math class, we were looking at common denominators uh, in an effort to make equivalent fractions in a hope that eventually we're going to use that skill to add and subtract fractions because as anybody knows, you must have common denominators in order to add and subtract fractions effectively. Um, <clears throat> But the idea of common denominators is not just one that's limited to fractions and mathematics. It's also um, can also be related to human interaction. We, uh, an acquaintance of mine, in the last few years, was asked to step down from his position uh, at work, and in doing so, um, many people were angered in this decision. Well, some time has passed and this family has relocated because of a new position that this person found um, within the same line of work, but in a different company, we'll say, a different uh, group. Um, and since then, this other company has also experienced some disconnect between this individual and their ideas and uh, the results that they're creating or producing. Um, and because of that, there's some anger again coming from this individual and their family toward uh, the groups of people that are seeing things differently than them. And this is where common denominators come in. Because the two, uh, two instances are not unrelated. The problem is that the relationship or the connection is this individual. So I'm inclined to believe that hopefully through a period of self-reflection, this person is going to see that it is them that continues to have the issue within this field within this um, group, within this industry. Sometimes you're the problem. You being the individual. It's really hard to see that, but if time after time after time you're seeing that your ideas and goals and expectations are not matching up with others around you, over and over and over, maybe you're the problem. I run into this a lot at school too, in regards to uh, unkind interactions and the way people perceive them. Sometimes the person that's having the issue is the problem. You can't blame the victim all the time. It's unfair. Sometimes it's unfounded. But sometimes it is their fault. Sometimes they asked for it. We can touch on this later, but that's where we're at for now. Common denominators. Sometimes you're the problem. Talk to you tomorrow.